In this video, we're going to be using Seaforth, Sea Spice Lime, and the Blackland Razor Saber. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today, because boy, do I have one for you today. This soap, wow, this is a statement soap from Seaforth or Spearhead Shaving Company and Chantalone Looks. Um, the scent on this for me is the best scent of 2021 by far. It is a statement in soap. And, and what I mean by that is this is a citrus scent that is complex. It is strong. It is bold. Good scent strength. For me, it's close to strongly scented, but it is just so beautiful. I'm going to put the notes for you right there. Tahiti lime, bergamot, sea spray, coriander, uh, pink pepper, oak moss, but the way it comes together, it is a citrus soap that just, it says to every other artisan, hey, yes, you can make a citrus soap that is unique. You can make a citrus soap that is bold. It's not a run of the mill lime. And you know, I love lime. I have used many citrus soaps over the years. This one has the best scent that I've ever experienced to date. Um, it is just incredible. I love it. For me, by far, the best scent of 2021. Everybody else, in my opinion, has been put on notice with this scent. If you're a citrus lover, this one is just so bold, unique. It, it, it's a must get for me. Um, the cost on this, 22, 21, excuse me, 99 for four ounces, 549 on our cost chart, which is pricey. And I don't care because this one, the scent on it is so good. It's worth every penny. Again, the scent was a uh, was created by Chantalon Lux and it is, this is three in a row. All the scents they have made for Seaforth have been great. In my opinion, I love them all, but this one, it is really a statement soap and I can't say enough good things about it. It is a tallow-based soap. We'll put the ingredients for you right there. And while we do that, let's uh, do a little bit of housekeeping. I wanna thank all of you who went over and sub subscribed to Mel the other day, Melly Mel Shave. At the time he was sitting at 940 subs and then 12 hours later, he was over a thousand. Keep that going if you haven't subbed to Mel. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it really means the world. And also, don't forget we did a spot with Shane from Blackland Razors on Real Talk, and I will pop that up in one of the corners. But please, watch this video because you, <laughs> you're gonna wanna continue watching. It was a great conversation with Shane. I hope you'll enjoy it. I am tongue twisted because I'm excited about this soap. Okay, the razor for today is the Blackland Saber, and it uses the old gem style blades, which resemble a paint scraper, but they are not a paint scraper. And I'm gonna load the razor up here. It's been a little bit since I've used this razor and I figure we talked to Blackland last night. Let's use the old saber and get things going. Uh, man, I tell you what, the scent right now is filling the restroom. It is just fantastic. I am happy. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I'm a little enthusiastic today, but this scent, it just, for me, it's one of the best scents I've ever experienced. It's just fantastic. And there is our saber with the blade loaded. And I have to thank Jeremy, the traveling shaver, because he let me borrow his saber and I shaved with it one time. I was like, I gotta get that. <laughs> this comes to you for $185, $185 at Blackland. It's made in the USA, 303 stainless. I have uh, the two plate, which is 0.9 millimeters, uh, the blade gap, 5.5 out of 10 is how they list the aggression. And they also have a uh, one plate, which is 0.6 millimeters, and they listed that four out of 10 aggression. Let's get this soap on the face. Wow, we I can't wait. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. I, I tell you what, am I over and doing it on my love for this soap? No, because it's that good. <laughs> so for me, uh, the best the best cit citrus scent that I've ever uh, experienced to date. And you know, that is saying a lot. That is saying a lot, because I've been through a lot of soaps and I had no problem lathering it. Um, the the Spearhead soaps or Seaforth offerings are easy to lather, good quality. We will have no problems with quality today, I guarantee it. The brush today, by the way, is the Lancaster Razorworks brush. And as you can see there, there's some good hydration in this lather, or at least I hope you can. Oh man, the scent on this is just incredible. Again, uh, I know Spearhead is not saying this, and Chantalon Lux is not saying this, but I'm saying the statement they have made to the rest of the artisans on this one is, you can do a unique sterling, or excuse me, 
Sterling, it was Sterling Week. <laughs> you can do a unique citrus scent. Um, you can do something that's bold. You can do something that's very creative. And you, it doesn't have to be the run of the mill lime, which I happen to like, by the way. I'm not cracking on uh, lime. But this soap to me is very, very much a statement soap about what can be done with great perfuming and a citrus scent. And this one, like I said, it just fills the room. And for those of you who are afraid that they don't have an alcohol-based toner, I put on the toner yesterday. I could smell it still several hours later, just the toner. And so I was super happy with that. I just love this. They did have an EDT that are right now sold out and I can understand why. Because it is phenomenal, um, the scent. But I did talk to Dennis of Spearhead and uh, he said they were gonna try to get more of those maybe in the summer and boy, they should because this is great. So let's get going with the Sabre. We're like six minutes in and we've yet to do any shaving. That's bad. Oh man, that feels great. This for me is my favorite um, gem style razor. Now, I know some folks will sort of roll their eyes when I say that because a lot of people really prefer the vintage and there are some great vintage gem style razors, but I don't know. I guess I just like the build. This razor's built like, built like a tank. It shades very smooth for me. The razor is held in there very, very tight. You know, three piece design versus, you know, the spring sort of mechanism that a lot of the older ones use or, or uh, twist to open or twist to close. I really enjoy using this one a lot. It's got some good heft to it. Um, it's really a good shaver. I, th I think personally it's probably underrated. I don't see it as much as some of the, you know, um, razors of the day, so to speak. But but that this one is, uh, I think, an excellent razor. And I tell you what, we had a lot of fun talking to Shane from Blackland the other night. He he talked about the Era, which is a uh, 3D printed stainless steel razor. Yes, you heard me right. 3D printed stainless steel razor. Uh, he talked about how that razor is made, the price point, which is going to be around $75 with five different plates you can choose from. It's not going to come with all five or $75, but he plans to offer kits and, you know, for the, maybe people want more than one plate. Um, and, uh, we talked about, we talked about the inspired or dupe or knockoff sort of designs like the roster compared to the vector. And he gave his perspective on that. And, uh, I think it was very well done. And, uh, ultimately everyone can decide what their, uh, with their dollar. I don't criticize you if you like the, the knockoffs at all. They shave well at a great price, but you know, Shane makes his case on, on the show as well. And again, I will uh, link that video for you. And I think it's worth watching, especially if you want to hear about the era, how he makes it. It's really, really interesting to me. And man, this soap is, it's as, it's as good as I thought it would be as soon as I smelled it. Just terrific. And I, I did a head shave with it um, right out of the gate because I couldn't wait. I did a, a head shave with it off cam and I was like, oh goodness gracious. It's just so good. And for me, um, and we're, we're still relatively, we're not even halfway through 2021. And I think it's going to be very hard for a soap to top this one on my list of best scents of 2021. It's going to be hard. I think Spearhead has really came out with something that I've never smelled anything like this. It, it, um, it's a, you definitely get the lime, the bright lime, but you also get that sea spray in it, which comes up, um, across a little salty, but it doesn't affect the brightness and you get some of the other elements as well. It is really citrus done in a new way, or at least new to me. I have not smelled anything like this. And that, that's why I'm so excited about it because there's so many, I've heard artisans talking about citrus before. Eh, it's been done a million times. There's really not much you could do with it that hasn't been done. False. And Spearhead has, Spearhead and Chantillon looks has uh, proven 
that you can do a great, unique citrus that's bright, that, that offers everything citrus should offer in an entirely new and exciting way. And that is extremely exciting for me, I gotta tell you. So, big props to Spearhead and Chantillon. And, and you know me, I have said this many times. I haven't always been the biggest fan of the uh, Chantillon Lux um, Declaration scents. Just, they're just not, my nose and those scents by and large have not gotten along, but, but boy, the ones that have been made for Spearhead and some of the ones that have been made from for Singari have just been fantastic. And this one here is just absolutely phenomenal. And I'm gonna speed up the pace of the shaving just a little bit so we don't have a video that's 30 minutes long because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm asking enough of you all as it is, but it's no problem. We can speed it up just a bit. I thank you, all of you for watching, all of you who are watching, for all of your time watching these videos for the subscriptions. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe below. I got a lot more coming, you know, God willing. If I'm blessed with another day each day, I'm gonna try to do my best to advocate for the hobby. And it makes it very easy to do. When you have products like I'm using today, this is easy, you know, just to, to come in here and uh, enjoy this magnificent scent. Have fun, chat with you all. I mean, I couldn't really ask for anything better. And uh, oftentimes, I was talking to Johan from Shaven Butcher about this the other day and I was being flip. I was, and I told him, I said, uh, you know, right before I go to bed at night, I visualize my shave for the next day. And I was being flippant. I don't, I don't really visualize the shave, but I do find myself thinking about getting to that shave. So like last night when I went to bed, I was like, I can't wait to use this, you know, spearhead. So I'm just like, let's get this sleep out of the way so I can get up and <laughs> shave with this uh, sea spice lime by Spearhead and use the um, Blackland Saver. Just looking forward to it, you know, like a kid on Christmas, so to speak, sort of that sort of feeling. So that's the way I feel a lot of times uh, when I uh, go to bed. I can't wait to get up and shave. And for me, I know a lot of people, um, they struggle to get up and their eyes are closed and like, oh, I wish I could go back to sleep. I'm like, let's get showered and get ready for the shave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and especially days like today, because this is, whoo this one is, uh, I mean, I'm not going to do a loud Ric Flair woo because my wife's still asleep, but uh, if she wasn't here, I would be Ric Flair wooing, you know, till the cows come home. <laughs> the cows might actually come home if I did wooing like that, you never know. And that's an old saying for those of you who maybe aren't in the U.S., um, it's an old saying, until the cows come home, do something until the cows come home, meaning it's gonna take a long time, likely. Um, I'm gonna tell you, this is fantastic. The scent on this is just incredible. Again, for me, best of 2021 far, so far. There's not even, um, well, there's some other soaps that are really great that I've yet to use. Another one I have coming up probably tomorrow that's another great scent for me. And we'll get to that tomorrow. I won't spoil it today. But man, oh man, this one is fantastic. And Heather was telling me from uh, Zingari Man, when she got this from uh, Spearhead, she told Dennis from Spearhead, CDB is going to love this one. And she is right, because this one is just, I'll tell you what, when you get three in a row like this, um, it makes you a believer, you know. And so, um, this is just an absolute winner in every regard quality. And I don't care. Like I have always said, um, if I get a magnificent scent that allows me the, to enjoy the shave that's truly unique, I will pay for it. And this one, yes, it's, it's over $5 an ounce, but I would normally be going, eh, it's kind of pricey, but I don't even care because this one to me is worth it. The joy that I get from this scent is worth it. And you can't really put a value on that. 
the amount of happiness that something brings. Now, if it wasn't a scent that I truly love in the way I do, then I would probably be moping around about, well, I'd like to see it a little cheaper, but this one is worth every penny. And the toner, as I said, hangs around. So, you know, it's not like you put it on like uh, some other toners and it's gone three minutes later. And that's kind of hard with uh, a lime scent. Um, because lime scents don't usually hang around. That's the problem with, you know, lime or citrus in general. But this one is just, it really is exceptional. And so I have, uh, like I said, I used it on the dome because I couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait. And I've also put it in my uh, travel kit. Well, when we go on vacation here shortly, I've got six beach themed soaps and this is going to be one of them. I couldn't leave it behind. You know, I was like, I gotta take this one too. This one just smells too good not to use again. Oh man. And the soap quality itself, very, very good. Slick, that is really, really slick. It's awesome. And you just can't ask for any better, <laughs> anything better than the experience I'm having today. And so um, if you're watching it and maybe you're not quite up yet and I'm getting on your nerves with enthusiasm, I apologize, but uh, don't punish me for it because I'm just really enjoying myself. And literally, that's just, you know, my mornings are, uh, you know, some mornings I'm more enthusiastic than usual, this being one, because this scent just puts me where I need to be. Like, it's just so bright and there's sort of an effervescence to the scent. Um, it's going to be really tough. So the artisans who are making citrus this year, um, you got your work cut out for you. Now, don't shy away from it because, you know, I'm always open for a, a fresh boy scent. <laughs> and this one really brings it. But don't, don't just think lime and just, you know, just pure fresh boy. Think, uh, it's, it's really an unusual lime scent. Unusual in the best of ways. And to me, once again, a statement soap. And it's sort of set the bar in my mind for what a lime type soap can be when you have this level of excellence in perfuming. Um, it just hits, it checks every box for me. That simple. All right, that was outstanding. Let me rinse, we'll come back, get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. Then we applied the alum, no stinging. So we had a great shave today with our Blackland Saber, which is just an awesome uh, gym style razor by Blackland. Absolutely love it. We did a cold water rinse following that, toweled off with our Lancaster towel. And I gotta tell you, this was just such an enjoyable shave. The Seaforth Spice Lime, for me, best scent of 2021 so far. And it might be the best lime scent that I've ever experienced over the years. It is just that good. I absolutely loved it. We use our Lancaster brush, our Captain's Choice bow, and we shall finish it off today with the Seaforth Sea Spice Lime toner, which again, it hangs around a little bit, which is quite hard to do with a lime sort of scent. But to me, this is like lime plus lime on steroids. Um, Oh man, <laughs> oh, it's just so good. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you get this, let me know what you think of it because I just love it. Thank you again. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shade, do it your way. And as always, God bless.